and Tangella too. And our host, Vincent Van Dahl. And he brings it to ya! Creature features! And all creatures! God's name is that little monster up to now. It would appear that she will again endeavor to bury the living. Would that be how our last housekeeper left our employ? We will discuss that later. Oh, of course. Welcome to Creature Features. I'm your host, Vincent. The wise gent stood over to my right side would be the tasteful, though forgivably overly opinionated major domo of the Polter Mansion, the distinguished Mr. Livingston. And the lovely lass in the background attempting to turn our newly hired housekeeper into a dearly departed employee would be the otherwise dainty and serene Miss Tangella. And do we have a super fantastic program in store just for you. First up our film will serve yet another terrifying thriller that will surely cause your heart to pause, your children to shudder, and your poor family pets to dash out of your parlor in terror because this evening we shall present Night Terror from 1977. Starring Valerie Harper, Richard Romanus, and Michael Tolan, this is a spine-tingling tale about a serial killer who terrorizes Mary Tyler Moore's neighbor, Rhoda, as she embarks upon a road trip. Kitty, I will, I'll kill you! Originally titled Night Drive, you might notice more than a few similarities between this particular film and 1986's The Hitcher with Rutger Hauer and C. Thomas Howell. Yes, because they are both substandard films. Joining us to take in this terrifying car chase from the 70s will be boutique bakery owner Claire Elaine. She's the proprietor of the Wooden Pedal Bakery in Santa Rosa, California, one of my most favorite bread-making distribution centers in the area. Claire will show us some of her goods, tell us how she stumbled upon this particular business, and give us her baker's take on tonight's film. She'll also share with us a clip from a recent day when she ventured to train Tangella on the process of baking her unique pretzel treats. I'm sure that particular undertaking went well. No doubt better than the undertaking occurring in the background. So don't go away, for it is to be another night of road-raging Rhoda Morgenstern fright right here on Creature Features. Do you suppose there are air holes in that coffin? There were until she plugged them up this morning. Stay tuned. You read TV Guide, don't you? Oh, I do, yeah. No, it's wonderful. Like, right now, if our viewers were to switch over to Channel 20, they could watch Twilight Zone, the original Twilight Zone with Rod Serling, and this one is uh, described as follows. A dedicated, long-time school teacher portrayed by Donald Pleasance is asked to resign. Oh. That sounds like a good episode. Yeah, I don't really know the name good. of it. Anyways. Forget that, you are here with us because it's Creature Feature time. And guess who we got? Claire Elaine from Wooden, wooden, wooden Pedal. I almost called you Wooden Spoon. That's my grandma's business. But you could use a wooden spoon at the Wooden Pedal, but you could not use a wooden pedal at the Wooden Spoon. Could Correct. You? Right. Yeah. And you make bread. 
I make bread, I make pretzels, pretzels, all sorts of treats. That's wonderful. Now, how'd you get into this? Well, I've been in the restaurant and hospitality business my whole life. Right. Literally. I was born above a bar in England. Nice. A pub. If you, oh, you're a Brit. You, oh, I am. So you still have like the card carrying thing. I've still got my oh. passport, love. So you can, you can go back without being interrogated by the, the guards yeah. at the gate. I, you know? yeah. I went back once and it was a bloke with a big, with a big fluffy hat. And I thought it was a joke. <laughs> I mean, why are you interrogating me? I mean, I'm listening to the accent. Let me through. Yeah. He's like, what is your business here? So you're British. How, how long were you there? Uh, till I was five. Till you were five? Yes. Oh, that must have been cute. I was cute. You're like a little girl going, Mummy, may I please have some more? But I was from Northern England, so no one could understand a word I said. Oh, so it was Mummy, close. can I please have some more? You know. So it was like a Scottish type? Almost. Mix? Yes. So everyone assumed I would speak the Queen's English, but I didn't at all. Right. So once I hit kindergarten in America, I lost my accent real fast. And you did this by forcing yourself to learn to speak like Yanks. Yes, like Yanks. Nice. Yeah. And then I'd come home and my grandma would call me a right Yank. And so I'd switch back and forth between English and American accent. So I, I had a friend and he was, uh, he was British as well. And I thought he just got off the boat, right? And I found out that he came here when he was eight years old, and he still speaks like he's from Manchester. Some people hold on to it. No, not only does he hold on to it, I think he nourishes it because he gets more attention from the ladies. My dad's like that. Right, mm -hmm. right. So your father's here. Yes. Nice. Oh, it's a Brit right here on Creature Features. Who would have thought? Who would have thunk? Right. So uh, back to bread. So you've been doing this how long? So restaurant business my whole life about... Eight years ago, I moved to Sonoma County from San Francisco, and right. I thought, I'm going to try to conquer bread, because I'd never really baked before. I'd always right. been a chef and manager of restaurants and bars and whatnot, and I turned out to be a one-woman pretzel factory. Nice. Yeah. No, yeah, that's wonderful. And we're going to see some of the treats. You're going to bring some of those out soon. And I know Andrew has his eyes on him. We, we had to, like, smack his hand, right, because he was going to take one before uh, it was time for the presentation. So uh, we're also going to watch this movie, Night Terror. Ooh, You're familiar good. with this one. You like this one? I did like it. Because you like uh, Valerie Harper. I like Valerie Harper. My personal aesthetic has never changed since the late 70s, so this was right up my alley. Oh, really? Yeah, a nice slice of 70s life. So did you watch both uh, Mary Tyler Moore and Rhoda? And Rhoda, yeah. No, Rhoda was, was, was wonderful. And uh, her mother was funny as well, was she not? I don't remember her mother. Yeah, no, her mother used to come on the show. And well, she was of course on Rhoda, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I loved it. I thought it was it was a it was fun and I love the cars and the outfits and the 70s. No, yeah. we all love the 70s here. Most of our viewers like the 70s as well. All right, well, let's get this film started. All and when right. we return, we shall uh, talk some more about your goods. All right, Sounds off good. we go. Night Terror, don't go away. It is a good good film, I think. Claire Elaine, bread maker and pretzel maker. Who does your hair? I do. Who did? You did that. I do everything myself. Doesn't she look like Princess Leia? No, no. You look, you look like a fancy version of Princess Leia. You look like the Rhoda Morgenstern version of Princess Leia. There you Leia, go. Perfect. Right? And this film was made in 1977. Yes. Which is the same year Star Wars came out. So you're like a combination of Which things. is the same year I moved to America. Which is the same year she moved to America. Wonderful. Welcome back to the show. We are watching The Night Terror, 1977, with Miss Claire Elaine, who operates the Wooden Pedal Bakery in Santa Rosa, California, which is not far from here. And uh, next segment, we're going to bring some out, right? So they can see what you make. Have to share the goods. But let's talk about this film. So, crazy man with a gun and a razor voice. 
change her. Didn't speak much, drove a lot. No, no. He does not look like a nice person. He didn't, and I don't like what he, how he treats um, wait staff. Wait staff. Yes. No. Well, don't you, trust anyone who's rude to wait staff. Well, and being a restaurant operator, you, you know that. I really noticed right, that, yes. Right. So is there a tip jar when people go to your establishment? There is, yes. Right? Yeah. And are they generous to you? Yes, people in Sonoma County are very generous. That's important. Yes. Now, with all the wine they drink. They have to be, yeah, think, yeah, sure. No, no, I, you know, this is considered the wine country, and, you know, you, you expect more generous tippers. However, you know what I find about this place? I always thought, being so close to the place where they produce wine, I could find some fresh wine. No. Never? No. no. It's always got a stale date of, like, three years you before. You never see fresh wine no made today i want a sign that says fresh wine come and get it right yeah no can't get it one day maybe i should open my own vineyard called fresh go. wine yeah i bet you know he's done it yeah right In, instead of like 1998 you could get a, a wine that says june fresh off the vine right no june, june. that would be the maximum right it'd go back to june unless it was like February, and then say January. January. Right. Yeah, great Good. idea. Good movie. I'm going to signal we got to get back to the film. When we come back, you're going to bring a basket full of goodies, right? I am. All right, off we go. Back to Night Terror. Don't go away because it'll make me sad and it'll make Claire Elaine terrified. This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Stay tuned. Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Welcome back to the show, Miss Claire stepped away. You know, I think she's going to get more treats. Treats. Well, that's what she creates, is treats. Pretzels aren't treats. They are a treat to me. They are food. Well, yes, they are food, but they are a food treat, which is an entirely different category. Depends on how you treat it. He's, he, he can be clever sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. Anyways, let's do some mail, Mr. Livingston, right? We have something from me claiming to be our biggest fan. Don Holbrook Jr. He very well could be our biggest fan. And oh, he sent some you gave artwork. me two letters, young man. I'm oh, sorry. Here, take this one back. How are you doing, Tenjo? What you got? Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's no eyeballs in that thing. It's not like he could see with or without the blindfold. It looks like Karate Kid. Where'd you dig that one out of? Yeah, you know, one of these days, she's gonna be on an episode of like Forensic Files. Oh no, I have no doubt. Right? I don't doubt it at all. He, he doesn't watch the show. He doesn't even know what it is. All right. Um, our biggest fan, Don Holbrook Jr. Oh, my goodness. All right. I discovered your show probably about a month ago and have been binging your episodes ever since. Love it. Vincent is the host with the most. See, I told you. Oh, just the other day. I said, I'm the host with the most. And he said, hardly. You did say that. He I did in his voice, hardly. Hardly. I love your quick wit and your fantastic wardrobe. Well, you know, I don't have much of a wardrobe on this show. I no. always wear the same thing. Every day. No, I only have to clean it like once a month. I mean, if I wear it once a week, right, for an hour. Or two. All right, I would like Livingston Buttle, is that even a word? Yes. My house any day. His dry sarcasm is hilarious. And I can't leave out the skin skintillatingly silent 
and diminutive damsel of destruction, Tangela. That's a tongue twister I couldn't even master. Scintillating. She speaks volumes without uttering a word. Keep up the awesome work, Don Holbrook Jr. I'm also an artist and decided to draw you a little picture while I watch an episode. You'll get a kick out of this. So here it is, the three of us. We're going to put a big one up here. And uh, he, he was looking at that photo earlier, and he said he liked it. And then you know why, because you made him look handsome, Don. So, and he you made me look, he made me look handsome. He gave me good hair. He didn't make me look handsome. He captured my handsomeness. What's the name? This is what I got to put up with every day. You people on the other side of the camera only have to put up with it once a week. I have to put up with it every day. So does she. All right, next up, Mr. Livingston. Holly Eberhardt. Holly Eberhardt, what a wonderful name. She's from, does not say, let's see, Pennsylvania. All right, a frightful hello to Vincent Tangela and Livingston from Pennsylvania, known to some as Zombieland. You know why? No. That's where they filmed Night of the Living Dead in Pennsylvania. Oh. So it would be zombie land, but I don't think she's implying that she is a zombie. Zombies cannot write emails. They can't work True. computers. No. Uh, let's see. Um, so far, I haven't seen any, but you never know. Anywho, I just wanted you to know that my boyfriend Jay and I enjoy watching your show on YouTube together. He's from Canada. Yeah, I, Canadians love our show. They're watching Canada and then coming down to Pennsylvania and telling Pennsylvania girlfriends to watch our show. And that's wonderful, if I do say so myself. Uh, you have an interesting collection of movies, although we wish you had more of a variety. Well, how would we have more of a variety? There's a different movie every no, week. I think she wants us to show like one of these rom-coms or something like that. Perhaps. No, we've never shown a rom-com. Uh, I used to enjoy watching the show Sven Gulli, but since I've come to learn of your show, I find you much more entertaining. Y'all complement each other rather well. My favorite part of the show is when it's time to read the mail. This part. And we're reading her letter. So this has got to be her most favorite part of any program ever. Oh, we're the her irony. That's right. Uh, because you never know what the viewers may have to share. Keep up the good work, P.S. Vince, Jay thinks you have bedhead, ha ha. Uh, bedhead's a good thing. No, people used to say um, that my hair looks like I just got out of bed and I'm ready to get back in. That sounds appropriate. All right. All right, kind regards, Holly. Thank you, Holly, and your Canadian boyfriend. Next up, oh, oh another paper clip. Does this mean another photo? Another picture from All the right. big dub. The big dub. All right, Big Dub. Hola from Alamogordo, New Mexico. I've been watching your show on YouTube and I'm delighted by the movie offerings you provide, unlike Holly. Schlock creature movies and old-fashioned horror movies are right up my arroyo. Livingston is an odd duck. Having a very British surname, speaking with an American accent, but hailing from Germany. All right, so this is a bit strange. I don't think he's got an American accent. Let me hear your voice. My voice. Now, so what do we determine? That you have a European voice, right? Cosmopolitan. A cosmic, no, well, of course you're cosmopolitan, but it's like a, a pan-Eurasian voice accent. Pan-Eurasian? I don't know. I just made that up. All right, of course, Vincent seems right at home in the mansion despite his complaints. Methinks he doth protest too much. And Tangela is an impish delight. She's pulling mm. teeth out of that thing. You've got impish, right? But you can he may need those someday. So much so that I named my cat after her, who is a lovable scamp how only ever seems to talk to me. All right, let's see a picture of this. Oh, look, this is Tangella. Look, Tangella. This is the one on the bottom. It's not the top one. The top one is Big Dub, but the bottom one is Tangella. You know, it kind of looks like you. Now you make this face all the time. Whatever you want tuna. She doesn't eat tuna. Uh, I am about halfway through your online offerings and I'm not sure what uh, all is already shown, but I recently watched a delightful 1960s sci-fi flick called Cyborg 2087 and immediately thought of you and wondered if you have already shown it. If not, you might like it. 
Uh, keep up the good work. Sincerely, Big Dub from El Magordo. Yes, Cyborg 2087 we have not shown because they won't give us the rights to put that on YouTube. So. Oh, they want lots of money. No, no, it's not the money. They just mm -hmm. don't want it on YouTube. So if we can't put it on YouTube, we don't put it on anything else. Next up, Mr. Lou. We got quite a bit of mail tonight. Last one from Steve Barnhart, Cleveland, Ohio. Steve Barnhart in Cleveland, Ohio goes, Dear Vincent, I was saddened to hear some years back that you had left the rock and roll industry. While I can understand career burnout, I can't say that I exactly agree with your quote from Rolling Stone magazine where you said, rock and roll has simply become stupid and old men should not play guitars. You know, I say that all the time. Yes. Yeah. All, all men should not play guitars. As a veteran musician myself, I look forward to spending my golden years making more music. And no, I do not intend, as you implied old musicians do, to play an acoustic guitar at farmer's markets, slouched on a stool, perched between a turnip merchant and an angry woman peddling patchouli oil. I did say that, didn't I? Yes, regrettably. Well, you know, he caught me off guard uh, during an honest moment. I also read another article that you while away your days playing a pipe organ in your mansion and only work one day a week showing old horror films. While playing farmer's markets may not seem appealing to you, I can't see that as being any worse than chatting about obsolete films on obscure cable television channels for a program that nobody has ever heard of before. In any case, to each his own, and good luck with that. Yours truly, Steve Barnhart, Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah, he's got a point. Yeah, I, I might as well be playing farmer's markets, doing this, uh, contending with her and you. I think you'll be frightening the children. No, I'll leave that up to you. He's like Lurch sometimes. That it? That would be it. That is it for mail. If you'd like to send us mail of your own, visit hellocreaturefeatures.com. That is a website that will tell you how to send us an email, how to send us a mail in the post, or if you prefer, how to send us a large bundle of flowers, which we will deliver to Tangella, which she will promptly throw away. In any case, uh, we'll be right back with Claire, but first let's get back to Night Terror 1977. Don't go away. Hello, this is Mr. Livingston. It would appear that I have been tasked yet again to deliver another plea intended to separate you from your hard-earned money. This program now has its own channel and associated apps that allow you to watch the entire Creature Features library and much more. Entitled Creature Features TV, this is a system that works much like Netflix or Hulu. Besides early access to all the new Creature Features episodes, You'll also have access to many other offerings and some archival episodes of the original show with Mr. Bob Wilkins. You'll also have exclusive access to a new Creature Feature show that will be introduced soon and will not be available anywhere else. Your generous but modest monthly subscription fee will also greatly assist in the continued production of the show, so there's that as well. Miss Tangela has asked me to inform you that if you subscribe to Creature Features TV, she will be sure to create more dancing videos just for you. I think not. So please visit www.creaturefeaturestv.com to learn more. Thank you for your time. Pretzel time! Oh, it's pretzel time! Yeah, we we should hey, create. Hey, not yet. No, we should create like some kind of Oompa German Oktoberfest song. I think pretzels. that was it. What you just no, did? No, no, no. I think I think we should get Livingston 
to write the lyrics in German, right? Oh, and yeah. then I'll, I'll, I'll compose some kind of um bop, um bop, um bop, right? Perfect. Be good? Right. Yeah. Show us what you have, look. Oh my God, those are not pretzels. Those are gourmet pretzel-like things. They give me one. Let me hold one of these up. No, no, not the whole, oh, all right. Give me the whole basket. I'll pass it to you. Pass it to me. Oh, look how, this looks like a croissant. A lot of people say they take like croissant. Oh, they, they don't smell like one. No, this is one. Oh, give they, him one. He's, they are a delicious a buttery pretzel. Jump in. And you said buttery pretzel. Buttery, yes. Soft right. buttery pretzels. You can eat them as is, or you can toast them up at your convenience when you take them home. Right. How long or, do they keep? I want you to eat them today right. or tomorrow. You can toast them up for oh, a couple this is days. so nice and gooey. This I make is them wonderful. fresh every time. You need another one? Mm. Yeah, double fisting. What's your verdict? Mm -hmm. One for the pocket. Oh, these are delicious. Thank you. I'm going to save this for supper. So you make these, and so a typical pretzel is hard and crunchy like stale bread. Correct. I don't want to make hard, crunchy, stale bread pretzels. I want to make fresh baked, soft, fluffy, croissant-like pretzels. They are still done in the pretzel method in which I boil them in a bath before right. I bake them, right. which gives them that beautiful brown lamination. Right. And twist them up in my signature twist. Right. Which looks like this. Very nice. Yeah. It almost looks like your hair. Yeah, we I match. like it. Now you could put two of those <laughs> on the side of your head in an emergency, right? No, I like yeah. that. Or you should make a chapeau with a spring that holds them. Earmuffs. I let those at home. You have pretzel earmuffs. Sure. That's yeah. Wonderful. So my pretzels are great. They come with different dips. They're perfect for sharing for parties for potlucks. Oh, of course. Yeah. No, you could you could live on these, right? They yeah. make great breakfast sandwiches for the next day, or you can make. So them you would take sliders. this and place like an egg. An egg. And like maybe a slice of cheese. Yeah, avocado a, toast if you must. Avocado, avocado yeah. toast. I've yeah. never tried that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, people send me pictures of their breakfast sandwiches all the time. Because Made with these. Yes, they're very inspired. Oh, how wonderful. Yeah. So it's it's almost like competition for the bagel. Correct. Right? Yes. Maybe. Or people the, call them bagels all the time by mistake, but or, they are pretzels. Or the English muffin. You know, we just call them biscuits over there. Biscuits, biggies, yeah. yeah. But it's like, you know, English muffin. Right, these are not muffins. All right, what's the other thing you got? This is what I call my table bread because it belongs on every table. It is a rosemary wrapped onion up parmesan like this. bowl. Yeah, would you like to see how it looks? Yes. Okay, we wrap it all cute and it's sustainably no, packaged, love, of course. I love the wrapping and not necessarily... Smell that, coming out of it. I and love your packaging my... and not necessarily because of the sustainable part, because that's nice, but it's 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 like the way things used to be. Rustic, right? yeah. And no, it's, it's, it's practical. Yeah. Without being like flashy. Cool. So oh, this that is, is my gorgeous. beautiful give bread me, bowl. Here, have me. a bite. Pull some off. I brought plenty oh for everyone goodness. to share. Oh my goodness! I bought goodness. plenty for the class. <gasps> I want. I want to have. I want to have a a breakfast breakfast item like this. I'm going to try this. So that's great, and that has a mm. nice long shelf life. That'll stay on your counter for three or four days. That is superb. All right. We need to get back to the film. All right. And, but uh, when we come back, we're going to talk some more about these things, right? Okay. All right. Off we go. Back to Night Terror. Don't you dare go away. Or else, uh, you can go away if you want to, but don't. Hi, this is Teresa out of Georgia. I love your show. I watch you on YouTube. Livingston, Vincent, Tangela. I love you guys. Hello, this is Livingston. Apparently, one of my newly acquired domestic duties is to request help for our show financially by asking you to visit our patron page. Your generosity will help keep Creature Features on the air, which I'm not entirely sure is a good thing. However, with only a few dollars a month from you, your kindness will allow us to continue creating new programming each week, which apparently some of you curiously enjoy. And should you have the desire to give even more, 
you might even receive a gift from Miss Tangella. I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you. You know, Claire Baker Extraordinaire, this movie reminds me quite a bit of Duel. Oh, why? From 1971. It was highway, desert, chase cars, moving. Sure. Right, large trucks driving by, honking their horns. Right? And what was Duel? Duel was Steven Spielberg's first big hit. Oh, I never knew that. No, you need to watch it. I wish we could show it, but they said no. Oh. But it's a, it's a good film, and uh, it was Dennis Weaver, is that right? Yes. Dennis Weaver, if you remember him, who did he play? Uh, McLeod? Right. He was McLeod on uh, the mystery movie, remember? You had Columbo, and you had um, McLeod, and then what was the other one? McMillan. It was uh, McMillan and Wife. Listen, to you. you never watch these shows. You I were too was young. Watching Smurfs. You were too young, Smurfs. Yeah. Oh my goodness! <laughs> All right. Well, I understand you do training classes. You on can this. come to the bake shop and take a class with How me, fun. the pretzel lady. Right. Yeah. Right. And I understand uh, Tangella actually came and uh, paid you a visit. She did. And how did that go? She's as mischievous as she is enchanting. Well, that's a nice way to put it. I would, I would use stronger language. She's than an that. okay student. All right, all right. Well, I understand we have a clip to look at. Check it out. So uh, we're gonna take a look at that clip, and uh, we'll head back to the movie. We will see you on the other side of the break. Stick around.
Next time on Creature Features, pretzels in space. Now, wouldn't that be nice? It would be nice. Now, a science fiction film based upon sentient pretzels. Right? Maybe they could be little beasts that would travel. Yeah. And then, and then flying. The humans eventually, at the end of the film, discover that if they simply eat them, then. the problem's solved. Boom. Poof. Right. Anyways, a better plot than this film. It seems like they're just running around the whole time. Just driving. If only she had a cell phone or right. GPS. No, well, so you would have to send one back in a time machine, I believe. Through the pretzel UFO that you were speaking of. That would be nice, but yeah. no, you'd need an actual pretzel time machine. Okay. Right? Yeah. Because a pretzel time machine could send back a cell phone as well. Right. But no, then there'd be no movie and what would be the point, right? Right. No plot. You could not film this film today. You would have to change the script slightly. The film would be two seconds long today. Uh, Valerie Harper, is she still around? I didn't you know? do my homework on that. You know? Uh, hopefully, hopefully she is. You know, one of the things about our show is that most of the stars are deceased. Makes yeah. sense. Well, no, it doesn't make sense to me because, you know, it'd be like, wouldn't it be nice to have Valerie Harper on the show? Which I don't know if she's dead or not. So somebody's going to Google it and put comments on YouTube. And if YouTube. she's still around, come on over. She should come by. Yeah. We have pretzels. Lots we'll of feed them, you. And they're delicious. All right, so you can actually purchase these online. You sure can. And you ship them fresh using a very specialized process. Well, the specialized process is love, flour, yeast. No, butter, that's ingredients, know. but the way you ship, how does somebody get well, most, fresh pretzels? Most people will pick them up at the bake shop. Right. Starting this fall, I am going to start shipping. Oh, so this is not something you're currently doing. But I will. Oh, all right. Hopefully by the holidays. All right. Well, hopefully. Yes. So your viewers can enjoy pretzels shipped to them. Visit woodenpetal.com. Woodenpetal.com. And for your viewers, I have a special promo code, promo code TANGELA, for oh, the Tangela. month of September. We'll get you a little discount for being a creature feature viewer. A discount. How no. about that? See, I get these for free. He does. Only when she's on the show. <laughs> but uh, no, a nice discount. And if you want to try these, these are wonderful. And Tangela loves them. So it's appropriate that you used her yes. name yes. for a promo code. Yes. So. so for local folks, you can come visit me at my bake shop in Santa Rosa and... Hopefully by fall, we'll be rocking and rolling with shipping. And that, uh, that uh, Santa Rosa is near San Francisco. In between Close. here and San Francisco. Right, Yeah. right. So it's easy to find, even if you don't live in Santa Rosa. You, you can, can just... go on woodenpedal.com right. and we'll ship no, no. it to you. You can go f try to find fresh wine at the wineries. That's right, made right. fresh yesterday. No, this and some, some not so fresh wine still works well, And right? old cheese. That's right. Yeah. All right. Perfect. All right. Let's finish up this film. Okay. And when we come back, uh, we're going to find out what you are doing next. All right. Sounds All right. good. Off we go to the end of Night Terra. It's got to end sometime because it's night will be over soon. Yeah. Almost morning. That's right. Yeah. See you soon. That is unbelievable. She saves him. After, After all that. No, I would you I would have I would have pushed him into the truck before I lit it. Step on the gas. And then watched been a barbecue searchlight torch. Right? Some more. No, she could have killed two birds with one stone. Well actually one bad guy and one truck yeah. with one fighter. Yeah. yeah. Hollywood, you should get me to write the endings of some of your films because you've not been doing a proper job. In any case, uh, enough about this film. We'll show it again someday. I don't know when, but uh, well, you, you liked it, right? Yeah. She, she likes it when the bad guy and the good guy dies. Oh, yeah. 
No, that's the way she is that's now. And the, and she's trouble. So you already that know that. That makes sense. So what's next for Claire Elaine? Well, I'm always up to something, whether right. I'm changing up my seasonal items right. to match the holiday or the right. events. Um, who knows? I might grow. I might expand. Your business. Correct. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. No, no. And so uh, more locations and perhaps um, more different products. What else would yeah. you make if you were to like well, wave your magic Well, always on? my main thing. Right. You know, I love making bread. I love making big, carby, savory delights. Nice. Yeah. So, but would you add like, say, pizza? I thought about pizza recently, right. but I feel like that competes with myself. It does, like in a, a sense. Like a take-and-bake right. pizza. So what would be another item that might... Uh, how about corn dogs? Would you ever consider make making... pretzel dogs sometimes. Pretzel dogs, yes. see? Yep, those right. are delicious. We do a little take-and-bake pretzel dog on what occasion. What breed of dog would you use? Um, probably Chihuahua is oh, probably the best. Right. Yeah. yeah, no. Yeah. Well, Dachshund's a wiener dog, right? Yeah, but that's kind of too obvious. Oh, right. Yeah, you want to keep her guessing. She does not know we are, we are jesting. We're jesting. I have many dogs myself. I'm a big dog right. lover. Real yeah. dogs. You should have brought your dogs. We're going to get in trouble. Right. No, I love dogs. All right. Well, Claire, thank you so much for coming by and bringing us some samples of your wonderful work. Anytime. And thank you for putting up with her. She was wonderful to have in the shop. Right. Really. No, obviously she from the great. film, she yeah. was so wonderful. She but, was great. you know, the bright side was she did not burn down your establishment. The alarm went off, but no, she did right. not burn no, it down. No, no, she did not burn down your establishment. And that is a good day. Yeah. When Tangela does not exactly. destroy Whoa. a structure of some time. All right. Next time you're in town, come see us. All right. I would love to. All right. As far as you guys go, thank you so much for watching our program tonight. We know you could have been watching Twilight Zone, but actually not because it's Twilight Zone's what? 30 minutes? It wouldn't have been a, you'd have to watch four episodes of Twilight Zone to equal one episode of Creature Features, and that's the way it goes. Though I'm not Rod Surly, am I? In any case, see you next week. We'll have a different movie, maybe another guest, and don't forget, we love you. See you next time. So, uh, Claire, I'm wondering if I might be able to commission you to build me a nice, wonderful holiday fruitcake. Only old people like fruitcake.